Hey everybody, this is Raymond Camden, and today I'm going to be talking about a feature that's not really new, uh, but it's something that I think makes a lot more sense in a video, and I've been meaning to make a video for this for quite some time, and I finally got around to it. So what I'm talking about is the very cool ability of the Ionic CLI to generate icon and splash screens for you. Now, if, you, if you've done any research into working with icons and splash screens and an Apache Cordova application, you will know that there's like 500 different sizes and shapes, etc. that you have to build. What's nice is that the Ionic CLI has a service that can do all of this for you. Now, to be clear, it won't necessarily cover every scenario uh, of your application's needs. So perhaps it may be just what you use to generate the initial files and then later on you go and you tweak, etc. But certainly it's, it gets you a long way towards a final product. So in case you're curious about how it works, if you do Ionic Resources, it will generate everything based on two source files. One file called icon.png.ai or .psd and one called splash.png or .ai or .psd. And if you do Ionic Help Resources, as you see on screen there, you actually get some help about you know what size it should be and what formats, etc. You can also tell the CLI to only do icon or only do splash. If you don't, then it will generate both. Back on the website help, I'll also point out that if you scroll down, they actually have a Photoshop template both for the icon and for the splash screen. Now I've already created an icon and a splash screen and I did it with the templates and they all match the uh, size that the CLI and documentation recommends. So let's see this in action. I'm going to quickly create a new application. And there we go. It's going to download the bits. It's going to generate. It's going to think about it. And we will let it finish initializing. And it's almost there. There we go. So we called it November 10. Now, in order for this feature to work, you have to have a folder called resources. Oops. Let's try that one more time. Resources. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the files I made. There we go. So I have icon.png and splash.png. Now to test this out, first thing I'm going to open up this in Explorer so you can see. And let's actually go back up. All right. So right now we have just a source file. So I'm going to go ahead and tell the CLI to generate those resources and we'll watch it work. Now, I only have iOS as a platform, so you see it's only generating for iOS, which makes sense. So it's sending those resources out, and the Ionic folks are doing their magic, and it is slowly populating. Now, what's nice is that after I work on this, if I modify, for example, the icon and then rerun it, it's going to recognize that nothing has changed, or just the icon has changed. And you could see I just ran it again and I hadn't changed anything, so uh, both the icon and splash screen were used from the cache. So now, in theory, we can see this. We'll send it to the emulator. And it's going to process and it's going to default to my iPhone 6 simulator. And oh, let me bring it forward. And, course it's way too big so let's bring this down to 50% and there was the splash screen and it was a bit fast so we'll go ahead and shrink it there's the application and there's an earlier test and if I go ahead and kill all this oops kill all the running applications or most of them I'm gonna rerun it just so you can see that splash screen again and there you go so pretty darn simple to use very handy feature 
and definitely check it out.